Traders a green day for me and I'm done trading for the day. As you can see here, I'm going to finish up today. It's always good to start the first uh, day of the week in green. I had a very good trade in mRNA, a losing trade in Tesla, and a very nice trade where I followed Scott in VXRT. I start with VXRT, just a short uh, look at what happened here. You know, stock started with a gap down. Uh, Scott waited for the first pullback as uh, should have been done and then we all shorted it at 10.30 and really just kept coming down. I have to say I did not uh, use the, um, I mean I did not enjoy it as much as Scott did because he kept adding when I was taking my partial. I thought well it was a little bit early, I wanted to be on the safe side and um, well worked out for me as a small winner. But uh, I was happy, it was my first trade. Now let's take a look at Tesla, that was my second trade, it was a losing trade. At that point, as you can see, Tesla came down and then tried to move higher. I thought, well, that should be the end of the uh, downside move. It should start moving higher and that was mainly because the S&P was, uh, was coming down strong at the beginning of the trading session. You can take a look at the S&P here and you can see that the first move was down, although the S&P was green. So I thought, well, it's likely for the S&P to move higher today because usually it starts by a little bit of uh, profit taking, some sales um, in the direction of closing the gap, and then usually it moves over the highs and it did. So I was expecting the S&P to continue moving higher. As you can see, it's just going sideways really. But uh, and then I took a long in Tesla. Well, I think, I mean, that was, supposed to be the right entry point, my timing was wrong because it came down a bit, took me out, I had my stop and then it moved higher. Well, that big move you're seeing here is the one I missed in Tesla. So the idea was right, but uh, <laughs> the result wasn't. Anyway, um, let's take a look at, about, uh, at, at mRNA. mRNA was uh, an interesting trade. If you watched pre-market time, you could see that I posted mRNA as a pre-market uh, long trade. So if you take a look at my pre-market uh, picks, you will see the mRNA, there's like uh, just two picks there, OCGN and mRNA. Uh, OCGN did well, I did not have the time to, to trade it today because at that point, um, I was too busy with uh, Tesla and with uh, VXRT, but uh, later I, I kept watching mRNA and I thought mRNA at some point today should move higher. Well, the reason for that is quite simple. You need to take a look at the daily of mRNA. Look at the daily of mRNA. Look back. That's amazing. Really, a beautiful daily. Look at that. Over the time. Look at this high over here. That happened right here in, I believe that was February. That was the recent high. So if you take a look at uh, mRNA daily, you can see that it has a beautiful, beautiful um, uh, breakout formation right over there. And mRNA really looks pretty for a long. So it seems like mRNA is trying to move higher on the daily and then making another pullback. And now today was the day where it's approaching the highs. And it's about to become most likely to become, never a promise, but most likely to become a very beautiful breakout formation. And that means that uh, I'm going to keep watching it today and maybe possibly leave something for tomorrow because just take a look at the daily here. It's amazing. It's as best as it comes, really very pretty. So mRNA looks great on the daily. That's why it was a good candidate for me on the intraday. I mean, again, it started by moving higher, did not give me a chance to move in, but once it pulled back down and the market stopped moving down and started moving higher, that was the point where mRNA came up after the market did. You know, the S&P is like our crystal ball. It shows us where the market, where, where many stocks are likely to move. mRNA did follow the S&P just that in a, within a delay. And I watched the S&P moving higher. I saw the daily of mRNA, I remember the daily from of mRNA because I watched it pre-market time and then I was just looking for an intraday reversal. Now take a look at the way it came down, it was strong, at that point it was up 3%. So it was not a weak stock that I went long in, I was just waiting for a strong stock to uh, reverse and look at this consolidation here at the lows and then a, a nice green candle moving over this consolidation and I took it long over 184.30 and it never looked back. I'm still riding it and hoping it's going to continue. So actually my day is a bit better than what I just displayed. Anyway, I'm having a good day. 
and uh, it's always good to start the week the, the week with a green trade i wish you all the best thank you all for watching thank you all for participating and um if you're on if you're on youtube give us a thumb up i think we earned it today i saw some other great trades here by yogi and by um and by scott and uh, hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all tomorrow so just have a good green day stay safe and we'll meet tomorrow bye traders